All right, we're here with senior softball captains Emily Mangerati and Jess Guvada. Uh, first off, the team's coming off another excellent year last year, finishing 28-12 and 12 in a perfect 18-0 and 0 in the NECC. Uh, what are your expectations coming up for this season? Uh, I think the expectations that I have at least are that we stay strong, we stay focused. Um, last season, you know, is over, and now we have a whole new group of girls coming in, and we just gotta, we got to stay focused. Same for me, I think we just have to work just as hard as last season, so that's the expectation. All right, now both of you have won, any, won the NECC championship uh, in your first three years. How important is it to be able to cap your career uh, with going four for four with the league crown? It would be nice. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, it would be really nice, but that's sort of like the icing on the cake. It's just nice enough to be here and to be able to play softball for all four years and just that experience alone is good enough. Yeah, I definitely agree. Now, the team graduated several seniors that played a key role, uh, Gabrielle Brixey and Jenna Freilich, among others. Uh, how's the team on plan on filling their production, and who do you see you know, making a big step this year? I think that um, everybody really will step up, especially the freshman class. Um, I think there's so much versatility in our team right now, so I am... Um, People will be stepping up in everywhere, so I think that we'll be able to fill up those spots, um, and everybody will be working hard. Yeah, I think we have a lot of newcomers, a little walk-ons, freshmen. So, you know, hopefully they'll be able to fill the roles. But I don't see, you know, one person. I think the whole team. Now, both both of you were uh, NECC first team all conference last year. Um, what do those in individual comments mean to both of you? And you know, how do you look to build on those accomplishments? Um, it's sort of nice to see that people are recognizing us um, even as a program and just as players um, I sort of feel really flattered that they're, they nominate us for those so yeah it's, it's an honor and I think that for me personally that just kind of motivates me to keep working hard um, and kind of do the same for this season if not better Great. Now, like most teams in the Northeast, uh, you guys have started the season in the gym, uh, hitting in the cages, etc. Uh, you know, how much are you looking forward to getting outside full time and getting on the diamond? A lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very different, especially with um, the gym and everything. So I think that being able to take um, just even like ground balls off the real field is very important, and it'll be it'll be yeah. nice to see how everybody works together as a team in a bigger uh, picture. Yeah, that's the problem with softball is being outside is like the key yeah. part of the sport. So it's been sort of hard to take real ground balls and real fly balls. So I think it'll be good to see real balls. Uh, at the end of the week, you guys take off for the annual spring trip down to Florida. Uh, you're playing eight games over four days. How do you handle that compressed schedule and, and what, what do you like most about the trip? Uh, the compressed schedule really isn't any different yeah. than our regular season schedule, right. so it kind of helps us by getting used to it. Um, and I think the best, the most I'm looking forward to about the trip is just being able to like meet the team and really, well, this might be the first time we have like all the girls together for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to really actually bond as a team is what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, definitely. I think that Florida is when everybody gets uh, the chance to really get to know each other and really bond as a team and that really helps us later on in the season um, especially because um, fall ball we have that time together but then we kind of go off into break so it kind of just brings us back um, and that's really good part. Great thanks a lot girls good luck.